Good morning! I can't believe we're almost at the end of January. So I wanted to do a little video of my January favorites. These are products I've been using and loving all month long. Some were gifted to me, some I bought, but I wanted to share it with you guys. Some of them I've had way back, but I don't really become obsessed with them until recently. Starting with a product I've been using almost every day. It's been my go-to. The MAC That's Peachy Glow Play, <laughs> Glow, Play. Glow Play Blush. It literally is so soft to the touch. Oh, this is how you do it. So this, this blush is kind of different. It feels like a cloud when you touch it. It's very soft, kind of like, like bouncy and jelly. It's also what I'm wearing today, but this is the swatch on tan skin. I don't know if you guys saw that pink glowy look that Hailey Bieber did. That's, everybody's talking about it. So I wanted to kind of recreate that look, but my skin is tan, so I couldn't really go for a pink pink. So I opted for a peachy one. At first, when I saw it on the box, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but guys, I am obsessed. I put on my cheekbones and then my eyelids and you got that perfect winter look. It's like one of those I'm cold makeup looks that's supposed to be like a natural flush. So the next thing we have is for the home. And it's my fleece blanket. But not just any fleece blanket. This is specifically from UGG. I got it when I went on that UGG trip. And guys, this is probably the coziest, softest fleece blanket I have ever had in my life. So this one is 100% polyester, but I'm not sure why the feel is so different from all my other ones. Maybe it's the thickness of the material, but... I love it, especially at night when you just want to be cozy in bed. Here it is up close. So I like to use this blanket on top of my comforter and not under it because it can get hot. So it's more like just an added layer. Or you can just use it during the day as is. But yeah, if you're looking for a new fleece blanket, this is the one. On the topic of cozy things, because by now you know I love cozy things, is this cut and sew sweat set. So I have here the white suit on, but it comes in a lot of different colors and you can find them on Amazon or on their website. I like how the sweat set is on the thicker side. It's kind of like the Aritzia one, but without the price tag. I've just been picking it up so much and I washed it already a couple times and it's still pretty good. It's also the fleece type inside. I have a lot of sweat sets, but this one might just be one of my favorite ones. Also because the fabric isn't rigid and it's so soft on the skin. This makes me think of the, if I want it, I'll just get it in a different color. Because I have different colors of it. The next thing is something I have had since 2021 maybe. But I've just been using it a lot more lately. My hair has been way healthier and shinier ever since I started taking care of it. And part of that hair care routine is this honey infused hair oil. So I usually use this after I style my hair or just before I go out, and you can use this on dry or damp hair. Also worth mentioning that it smells amazing. So they also have a mini size of this, which I like to bring when I'm traveling. So the good thing about it is you don't even need a lot of product, so you get your money's worth. And also the packaging is very cute. Next thing on the list is actually winter specific. These TNA beanies or toques. So it's 50% wool, 30% nylon, 20% acrylic. This is the style where the logo is on the top left here. I love this one so much that I had to get it in black. I hate having really tight beanings and this one is just so stretchy. It can fit literally anybody's head. So this is how it looks on. You can make this part thicker if you don't want more fabric on the top, but I think it's pretty good. I also like it because it doesn't have the little ball on top. So I think this one just looks more chic. And here's the black one. Also, unlike other beanies, this one is not restricting at all. And it's very breathable. I haven't had any problems with my ears freezing with just this beanie. So that's a plus. Moving on to the jewelry. I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram story, but I lost my favorite pair of earrings. No, well, not the pair, just the single one. In the snow, it dropped when we were taking photos and I tried to shovel, but I couldn't find it. I'm so sad about it. It was the perfect silver earrings. But I have the one piece here and this is how it looks like. 
I think I wore this on my other video. I just like the size of it and the shape. It's really cute. So this is from Pilgrim. I have known and loved the brand since 2021. I have never had any jewelry from them tarnish. Even when you wear a casual sweatset and you have this chunky earring on, it just makes you look more put together. See what I mean? It's just gorgeous. It gives that clean girl aesthetic that I like. I've also just been loving silver a lot more lately than gold. And this is one of the necklaces that I am currently obsessed with. This one is also from Pilgrim. It's more like a statement piece. It's a chunky necklace. And I love how cool the shape is. It's like asymmetrical. Love all their accessories. Check them out. It's obviously a different day, but I just wanted to continue my January favorites because I have four things left to share. The next one is a functional and practical piece that every household has. I have been budgeting all month. I'm trying to cook all or most of my meals at home. And this has become my new best friend, the Art Place Pan. I've actually had this for two years, but I didn't really use it as much as I did this month. I love it because it's beginner friendly. I don't know how to cook much, but this makes me feel like I know how. It's a nonstick pan and it also comes with a wooden spatula and a steamer. You can braise, steam, fry, saute, literally everything. And it's also oven safe. I have the standard size here and I also have the pot. So that's how you know it's great. And as somebody who doesn't cook but needs to, this has made my life so much easier. And bonus points because I don't actually hate cleaning it. And then another thing I really love this month is this calvin klein my euphoria perfume i am not a perfume girl because i just forget to put it on before i leave the house but when i do remember i always go for this one this has just been my go-to and i love that it's red so it has notes of blackcurrant essence with a touch of orchid flambe and it is contrasted by smoky sesame i don't even know if you can visualize that or think of what that smells like but it's definitely more in the nature side. I don't like sweet perfumes, so I do like that it's more more like a woodsy vibe. Also, it's not overly strong, so like two sprays and it's good enough. So if you're looking for a new scent, try this one. So the last thing is not really a thing, but an app, and it's called Notion. I have it on my laptop, but I also have it on my phone, and I've been using this since last year, but I feel like there's more ways to use it that I'm only figuring out now and I literally do everything here my finances my content planning my weekly to-do list and they now just added the calendar so you can sync your google and your apple calendar all in one place it's pretty cool I also have a home page that I still need to revamp but it's like your own mini life planner and you can customize it however you want I saw some people have like these cute widgets that they get online you can add photos videos tables everything the only thing is notion is kind of difficult to learn but there's a lot of youtube videos you can watch that's how i learned and once you get the hang of it you will literally use it every single day of your life it's certainly for the people that want to stay organized and in this one i'm just adding it because i waited so long for this and i finally got it the lover snow globe from taylor swift it has the word lover on the inside and T taylor swift on the other side and this one actually plays the song Lover. I love it. So that is everything I have been loving this January. If you try any of those, let me know how it goes. It's Pam and thanks for watching.